righty, good morning, guys. Well, we're out here at the next uh, next job, and yep, the pond. Pardon the wind. Uh, it's uh, crazy, windy. It's also supposed to be 70 some degrees today, and near the end of December, so crazy. But I mean, I mean, I'll take it. But anyway, I have the 210 out here, and our goal for today, which I don't know if I'll get it all done today or not, I don't know, because it's Christmas Eve. Um, this pond here leaks, and it has for years. Yet the water doesn't come to the surface. So, don't know where it's, it's going in at. And by the way, yeah, that's a... Dead, that's a dead deer right there um, but anyway our goal is uh, well, let me back up oh two three months ago I came out here and tried to bring a laser out here and shoot to see where we can get a spillway put in basically what he wants to do here is he wants to take and lower this pond dam down because it's really steep on the back side of the dam so he can't maintain it so what he wants to do is see if we can take the top of the dam down a couple of feet or so two or three feet take that dirt put it on the back side of the dam and lessen the slope on the dam well again the situation that we run into is is can we do that well i brought the laser stuff out here tried to make some shots but when i was out here all the vegetation was grown up and you couldn't see squat uh tall weeds and stuff and the laser wasn't working couldn't couldn't receiver couldn't read the beam so anyway uh if we can get that to drop down take the top of the dam down a couple of feet to lessen the slope because he said the water never gets up that high uh, even close to the top of the dam so we're going you know if we if if it's allowable we're going to take the top of the dam down put that on the back sides again slope that smooth that out and uh and hopefully lessen that slope up where he can you know he can maintain it um the biggest thing is is we don't want the water to crawl the center of the dam we want it to be able to discharge it that i shot it basically that dam slopes straight down into the ground there's really no and it actually goes uphill and then drops back down so there's really no good way so here there's kind of a kind of where that big tree is it's kind of there's kind of a, a ditch there where they've dug out to, to push up some dirt and it's kind of just trenched down through there so we're looking at that but we got to make sure that we got enough buffer on the center of the dam that it's going to run out of there and not crawl the dam blow the dam out so that's uh that's that's the deal there so the goal for today is to come in we're going to take 99 percent of these trees out there's a sycamore tree a twin sycamore tree over there he he wants to leave but the rest of them are all going a bunch of willow trees and stuff down at the water line so i'm going to pull all of those out good gracious sorry for the wind i'm going to pull all those out and dig back on them and try to get compacted in there as much as this has dropped i'm almost got a feeling that the water is going down and not through the dam or not into the bank so uh anyway we'll see but that's the goal for today get all these stripped off again it's christmas eve i'm probably not going to work all day today i need to help the wife with some stuff so so anyway that's the goal i'm going to take lay all that stuff up and try to get a pile going there uh unfortunately we can't do any burning on site here uh and and i wouldn't even if even if he was okay with it but uh he he uh he wasn't and i wasn't either but uh this is his field here you can see right here that tall dry brown grass 
That's called miscanthus. I believe is the correct pronunciation of the grass. It's miscanthus. And they use it. It's a fibery grass that's used in, as a filler in dog foods and other stuff. Uh, I think they also make wood pellets out of it. So it's just a, it's a, it's a crop. And, but as you can see, it's extremely brown and dry. And one little, one little ember hits that. I've seen those fields on fire and it's like a oil refineries on fire. There's so much petroleum in those plants uh, or, or equivalent of petroleum that the sky will turn black and the flames will get 40 foot in the air. It's crazy. But uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm not burning, not burning here. Even if it's still, I'm not going to. So we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with the trees and stuff later. But, but anyway, uh, I'll quit flabbing flapping my jaws and we'll get at it. I got to grease the 210 up. Uh, I got to grease it up and get it ready. And then I'm going to hop in here and start laying some trees over. Well, all right, guys. We're going to try to get all these trees yanked off of here today. So as I mentioned earlier, we can I can go in and laser shots to see if we're gonna be able to take that dam down like he wants to here regardless uh, we're going to take these trees off and regard regardless so Big old, you know, hole pulling a hole every bit of 2,000 
with enough play that get rid of that dirt is going to be the is going to be the issue. So. I just kind of quickly read through. I didn't have time to respond yet, which I will. But um, I've I've noticed some comments, and, and again, I as long as the comments aren't just completely ridiculous, I don't care. Just people leave comments, and I enjoy it. And uh, but you got to keep in mind that. Uh, there may, you know, on video, you may or may not know or be able to see all of what's going on. So, so anyway, don't, don't make assumptions, you know what I mean? Make sure that we, you know, uh, you know, the, the entire story and make sure that Keep in mind, you approach things with an open mind. All I ask, you know, because I've, I've noticed this morning I've had some comments about that pond, and again, I'll answer them. I just haven't uh, had the opportunity because I needed to get out here because it's going to be a short day. But uh, as to why I haven't, as to why that I didn't go ahead and just uh, just dig all that out let that fill up and well there's a reason for that and if you'll sit and think about it for just a minute you'll understand that water that was coming in there granted was a spring and it was a shallow Spring, no telling where the head of that was at, and it may be seeping through the ground for hundreds of feet. It's hard to say. But keep in mind that that's low pressure. That is just seeping in. Also keep in mind hydrostatic pressure. Keep that in mind as well. So if we went and dug a big hole and we let that we let that water start going in that hole to uh, start putting water in that pond once. Once the pressure of that water, once it reaches a certain point, it will stop flowing in. So it stops. Like I said, think about that for just a second. It's going to stop flowing in. So no matter if we dug that hole four foot deep, or no matter if we dug that hole 15 foot deep, once the pressure got to a certain point, the water is going to stop coming in. Okay? Once that water stops coming in, it's going to be far from being full. Everybody thinks, I think everybody's not, like I said, everybody's just not thinking about that. It's, it's not going to fill up. It's only going to fill up enough to equalize the pressure because that is not under pressure. It is simply leaching in there. Very low pressure. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, very low pressure. Like I said, 
I mean, you turn on a faucet and you, you turn on a faucet in your kitchen and you put your finger over that faucet. As you increase pressure, the water will stop. Once it equalizes the same amount of pressure that is coming out of the out of the pipe that your city or that your well pump is supplying. Once it reaches, once you reach that pressure, then the water stops, correct? Okay. No different. No different than if you're like what we're talking about on this absolutely no different so like I said I think the, the thought process is that I think the thought process is that it would fill up it won't so you're going to have a 10 foot deep hole that's only going to have a couple of foot of water in there because the water is going to equalize, the pressure is going to equalize, and uh, the pressure is going to equalize.
to be along the same lines as what I just basically tried to explain, and hopefully I explained that enough that, uh, that it makes sense. Likely 
we have a problem with what's called blue tongue is kind of the generic term for it. I, I can't remember what the actual literal term is, but we call it blue tongue around here. But basically, it's a disease that's transferred to deer from uh, little bees or flies uh, that bite them. And it's some sort of, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, specialist or, or to somebody that claims to know much a whole lot about it basically some sort of inflammatory disease and it has to do with I think respiratory and all of that but anyway it uh, when deer get it it's almost always fatal and when they get it they go to water because they're thirsty uh, so I've seen it many many a times and 99% of the time the deer just don't get in the pond and drown especially float so I mean that'd be one thing if you got hung out in the mud but, uh, yep that old deer more than likely had blue tongue and then uh, got in the water past that hot Again, it's some sort of inflammatory, inflammatory debilitating. I mean, it basically the deer can't move, but they always go to water. So you'll see that you'll see them in ponds quite a little bit. But again, don't know what the technical term for it is, but we call it blue tongue.
it'll be at the top.
All right, guys. Well, uh, for all intents and purposes, the uh, pardon the wind. All of the trees are off, with the exception of those two, and he wanted to leave those two sycamores. So, but anyway, uh, holy crap! Just about seeing me bust my booty. But anyway, that deer, that deer is actually laying on the bottom of the pond. So I explained that to the, uh, I explained that to the owner and he's going to uh, think about things. We may approach us at, um, at intervals if need be, but I think more than likely his leak is in down in the pond because I really didn't see anything around the edge where those willow trees were at that would indicate to me that would be a leak so more than likely it's in the bottom only way to remedy that is to clean the pond out go ahead and recompact the bottom but uh, but again all of the uh, all the trees all the way around with the exception of these little little stick ups and stuff like that but i'm not gonna worry about that because if we're gonna take the top of this dam off a couple of foot then we'll get all that taken care of all this will have to be scraped off all the sod and all the crap will have to be scraped off before we do that anyway so and there's that there's walnut tree i am going to try to cut a log out of that walnut tree i think there's enough to get me a log out of there so i'm gonna do that uh i don't know if i'll do it today or when i come back but anyway so yeah it uh be a beautiful pond but it uh it most definitely needs to be cleaned out but again that's that was my suggestion and i understand budgetary issues i get it so that was just a recommendation that I had. But anyway, I'm going to set the laser up and we're going to go make some shots to see if we've got enough spillway. If I can take this would-be spillway. See, when they built this pond, they took and notched that down to get enough dirt to fill up on this backside of this dam. You see they went way over there on the other side of that brush pile started cutting that down to get up enough dirt to finish the dam with so um you know and the size of that dam the size of the dam over there is not very big so that almost makes me wonder that pond's not very deep anyway because of a bunch of rocks because there's a bunch of rocks over here so they may went down as far as they could go because uh, they may have had a bad bottom so they stopped and just came over here where I just showed you just came over here and cut this down to help with the dam so that happens that's why ponds are so unpredictable as you've seen in the last couple of videos of mine ponds are just so unpredictable in this part of the country all right guys well done for today uh, as i mentioned earlier all the trees and stuff are off uh, i was going to take the laser and make some shots i did um this is the water where the le water level is going to be if we cut the spillway out so basically what he wants to do is take two foot off of the top of the dam to lower it take that dirt kick it on the back side um, so he can lessen the slope on the back side so he'll be more apt to be able to maintain the pond the back side of the pond um, it's so, so steep now he can't get on it with a tractor or brush hog or anything like that so um, he wants to take two he wants to take at least he'd like to take more than that off but the last time I come in and shot it it was going to be iffy at two foot but now that we got all the trees and stuff off I went back and reshot it um, 
I reshot it and luckily we can get 25 inches off the top of the dam take it down and still have a two foot buffer above the water line so i like to have 18 inches to two foot above the water line and that way it gives you some buffer to run out the spillway we'll just have to really watch it because that spillway is going to have to come down quite a little bit um because it needs to be starting to run out the spillway right here and back here on the back side of the uh where this is at right there where that flag is is basically where grade's going to be so there'll be a sizable amount of dirt that'll have to come out of here right in this in this spillway area here so well i mean it's gonna it'll be dished down like this i'll go over that with him but uh anyway that's taking two foot off of the dam or 25 inches actually i'm gonna fall give you guys something to laugh at here in a minute he's gonna lose a little bit of depth but uh you can see i will i waited out right in through there uh, the ground's taking a pretty steep so i'm gonna guess the mud's probably five or six foot in here um the water level is only actually um oh shoot i stuck the bucket out there it was eight inches from the top of the bucket it laying the bucket flat that's the water level before i hit the mud and then i kind of stuck the bucket down in the mud and kind of moving it around but it's wanting to pull me in so um but i'm gonna guess the mud's gonna be four or five foot deep out there and you can see right here i also went in I waited way out there. I had the whole machine out there and uh, you can see kind of where that last clump is inside the pond. That's about where the front of the tracks was at and I reached all the way out and solid bottom as far as I could reach and still wasn't over the bucket. So uh, that water's two foot deep kind of out where that turtle and you can see that turtle floating around out there it, the water may be two foot deep out there so anyway a little food for thought for him we'll see uh we'll see what he ends up by wanting to do but you know that'll be up to him but uh but anyway you know like stuff like this uh that i i didn't pick not worried about it this all has like i said this will have to be stripped off and regraded and the back side of the dam is going to have to all the sod and debris will have to come off the back side that way we can get good adhesion between the dirt we're going to take off here and put back there that way we don't take any chances of having any slippage so anyway um i guess that's going to kind of conclude today again i'm not working tomorrow it's christmas time and by the way merry christmas to everyone uh, Hope every, everyone has a safe and and uh, and happy Merry Christmas. Um, spend the time with the family. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here and be back. Uh, I'll be back after Christmas to start in on this. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab the 850 and bring it out here, and that way. I'll have it out here because I'm going to need it to fine tune this stuff. So but anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave comments and uh, ring that notification bell. And that way, you know, when I post a new video also, uh, again, follow me on Instagram and that's at dirt daddy 953. So again, guys, Merry Christmas and we'll see you in a couple days.